Okay, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what the categories are because there is so many names out there in particular to um, describe a, a tattoo, cosmetic tattoo procedure and it's all marketing. It's all marketing and essentially does the same thing. So let me break it down. There are only two physical things that you see when you get tattooed. It is either hair strokes or a powder brow, okay? So that's where they kind of fill it in. They're the only two aesthetically differences that you're ever gonna get. But let me tell you in how they get marketed. Let's start with the hair strokes. So. We're talking about the actual effect, the actual hair strokes. They can be either achieved by a hand tool, which is what microblading is, or they can also be achieved with the actual tattoo machine as well. Either way, still hair stroke tattoo. They can also be known as eyebrow embroidery, feathering, hair strokes, nano strokes, 5D, 7D eyebrows. You get what I mean, but they're all the same end result. Next you have your powder brows all right so or where it's more filled in and that traditionally would be done with a machine but you can also get it done with a hand tool known as soft tap. So the actual end result of a powdered brow a more filled in look can even be ombre brow, powder brows, like I said soft tap, just tattooed eyebrows they straight up just call it tattooed. And I'm sure there's fucking many, many other ways that it is advertised, but the end result again is the same. Now, of course, you can combine these two to create what I would call a combination brow, which is where I literally mix them together. So you see a little bit of hair strokes, a little bit of powder, but that's still as far as your selection goes. Like everything, all I'd say to most people is research, please. Look at photos. If you like the end result of someone's work, doesn't matter how it's done, that's who you'd go to because that's the work look, <laughs> the aesthetic that you're aiming for. Doesn't matter how it's done or how it's achieved, that's what you want, you go get it, but fuck me, research. Different people do different styles, even though it's the same technique. Everyone has a certain like, signature way of doing things. Look at as many people as you can. Travel for fuck's sake, it doesn't matter. As long as you get your end result that you're looking for, it is so worth it. Don't go to people who don't know their shit. I said it before, I know how to hammer a nail into a piece of wood. It wouldn't mean you'd go and send me out to make you a house or a shed. You know what I mean? Just because someone can do it doesn't mean they're good. So research.